Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Yeah, not a bad day across the Tri-State. We saw a lot of clouds, even some showers worked their way on through. But temperature-wise, hey, for the end of October, this isn't so bad. Take a look. 66 in Dillsboro, 64 degrees in Falmouth, 64 in Wilmington, 65 in Springboro. Our average high this time of year, right around 63 degrees. Now, I didn't say it was pretty outside. We're dealing with a lot of clouds, some scattered showers, and actually temperatures which will soon drop off into the 50s. Again, at the airport at 66 with those winds out of the southwest at 17 miles an hour. But in the next two hours, these winds are going to change from the southwest to the northwest, and that's going to usher in some cooler and, yes, some drier air too. You can see a whole lot of rain working its way through southeast Indiana. In fact, some of these reds and oranges putting down some heavier rain, especially to the north of Hamilton, right around Collinsville, Trenton, Middletown, and as we head a little farther down to the south and west here, Versailles, Friendship, Dillsboro, all dealing with some pockets of heavy rain. Not everybody seeing it, but as the cold front moves closer, our chances for rain will go up, especially in downtown within the next half hour. Now, once this band works its way on through, you can actually see a smaller band through Indiana. This is is our cold front. Once that blasts on through, our winds turn to the north and west, and again, that's when your temperatures start to drop. So, as far as the timing goes, I think downtown you're going to see some of that heavier rain right around 8 o'clock, and as it moves off to the east, Hillsboro, Mount Orb, Georgetown, Brooksville, probably right around 9, and then most of the rain should be over with by the time we come back to you tonight at 11 o'clock. So, again, cloudy skies, they'll stick with us overnight, but the much bigger story is the remnants of Patricia and where those are heading. Well, it's sort of an indirect path to the Ohio Valley. First, we're going to see high pressure build in for the majority of your Sunday and Monday, too, giving us some fairly nice weather. But Patricia, which is the remnants of anyway, Patricia down here in Texas, it's going to gradually move east very slow and then head up through the Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley as we head Tuesday. And it looks like right now the heaviest rain will be Tuesday night into Wednesday. Now, that's not all bad news. As long as we get between about one to three inches of rain, I think we can handle it. No problem. In fact, the majority of the tri state is abnormally dry. It's just this little peach area here across southeast Indiana where they're seeing drought conditions. So, rain is a good thing, but again, if we see over three inches in areas, that's where we're going to have some problems. So, your hour by hour forecast on Sunday 52, 53 degrees to start by the afternoon, 65, and again, a lot of clouds in the morning, plenty of sunshine backloaded towards the afternoon. Future cast as we head through Sunday, a good amount of sunshine. Monday, same story. It's as we head into Monday night and Tuesday, we start to see those clouds and showers thicken from the south. So tonight, temperatures dropping to about 52 degrees, showers fading. It'll be a cloudy night and a breezy night, too. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll make it up to 65 degrees. After a cloudy start, we'll finally see some sunshine. And your seven day forecast, there it is. Tuesday, I think during the morning, we may be on the drier side. It's really Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, and Wednesday morning where we see the majority of the heavy rain. Again, one to three inches of rain right now looks like a pretty safe bet. If we see more than that, there could be some issues, but it's been so dry through October, we actually need the rain mm. more than it's a problem for us. And I was looking into Saturday. Those are still very nice temperatures for Halloween coming up. You know, if we could just make it through a few more weeks with oh, plenty yes. of sunshine and some uh, warmer temperatures, this winter may seem short. Yeah, at least through.